Good morning. My hair is uh, different again. Oh my God, this clip is so low. Why did it do that? Not only is it 107 degrees right now, I have no gas and we're gonna go pick up Katrina Stewart. Well, let's see how the day goes, okay? Um, yeah. Yeah, I don't know what to say. It's too hot, I'm gonna start driving because I'm literally dying of heat. Oh, there's a car. Katrina just got in the car. Katrina, guess where we're going? Where? Just guess. Uh, Starbucks. Yeah. Yeah, I knew it. <laughs> I didn't tell her, but I thought, how predictable am I? Every single, single, now? every single time I'm with you, we go to Starbucks. Every single time. Every time. I just have a coffee problem. That's fine. Are you gonna get your usual? Grapefruit one. Oh, the one you got last Dragon time? Fruit. Dragon Fruit. Oh, Dragon? Oh no. Someone go. make a compilation of every time I get pissed at <laughs> Katrina's pronunciation of things. By the way, since I've been watching Degrassi, everyone says sorry and a boot and thank against. You, thank you. And. Do you respect it yet? I don't know. I mean, it's. I respect it. I just. <laughs> something about. Nice. Something about the way you say things. What does it do to you? I don't know. It bugs me. Oh. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Hi, uh, could I please get a grande white chocolate mocha over ice and what do you want? Oh my god, I forgot. I'm sorry, can you repeat that for me? Yeah, yeah, sure. A grande white chocolate mocha over ice with no whipped cream, please. I'm sorry, give me one second. It's okay, is there a dog barking? Yeah. Did you hear that? There was a dog. Yeah, there was this loud dog in there. Okay, it's hot. What do I do? It's gonna fall. It's gonna fall. Is it? No, no, no. I think it is. Oh my god, it's gonna fall. <gasps> I'm gonna, I'm gonna film when we stop driving. <laughs> Katrina said something when she walked in my room, and I'm kind of offended. Do you remember what you said? Um, how are you gonna reach that? No. Oh. <laughs> you said I've never seen your room so clean in my life. Yeah, it's never been this clean before. I I'm, like it. I'm offended. It looks very nice. <laughs> oh yeah, there's like nothing. Oh, it's just your purse. Yeah, usually it's full of stuff. It's because I don't put my clothes away. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? I took a sip of my coffee, and sometimes Starbucks does this. I'm not gonna lie. Sometimes Starbucks' is cold brew tastes like cigarettes. I love coffee, but sometimes their cold brew tastes like cigarettes. Sometimes it tastes like cereal milk to me. I don't want to get started with you in the word milk. I can never say milk around Tara. Okay, that's not a Canadian thing. That's just a weird thing. Yeah, no, that's just me. That's not Canadian. That's just me. That's just me. Did you notice something, Katrina? My hair color is the Fine Line album cover. Oh, wow. Is that why you did that? No. Oh. But it is. Sure? Yeah, I did it because it was like cotton candy. But. <laughs> I love it. We got beanie. We got e What? Are you not on that side of TikTok? I'm on weird TikTok. Like today, there was a spider eating a bee. Oh, you're on bug TikTok. Have you seen the one with the syringe and the fly? No, ew, no. Mm, that's a shame. <laughs> Hey guys, it's me Tara popping in to tell you about Audible. If you guys don't already know about Audible, it's the leading provider of audiobooks and spoken word entertainment. They have everything from news, celebrity memoirs, which are my personal favorite, bestsellers, self-development audiobooks, podcasts, wellness programs, and theatrical performances. They also have exclusive Audible originals you can't find anywhere else. Everyone has an immediate need to try and relax and stay entertained. Audible can teach, entertain, and keep our minds active and alert during this time. Audible has even launched a completely free special website where you can stream hundreds of titles anywhere, anytime, as long as this quarantine lasts. You can find these at stories.audible.com. You don't need to be an Audible member to access these and they have eight languages including English. While we're all at home, Audible is giving existing members more content with their membership. We can start an audiobook club together, guys. So if you guys wanna join my super fun audiobook club, you guys can go ahead and visit audible.com slash yummy or text yummy to 500-500. Okay, you guys, so today we are Reading pages of my diary to Katrina. Um, there's like eighth and ninth, or I think this is eighth and ninth, uh, like 10 ish, 11. This mm. is 11 through 12. Um, you get to pick which one. And, oh, man. And then I'll, I guess I'll find a page. I will be bleeping certain names out just because 
obvious reasons. Um, but when were you most, um, when's the juiciest? <laughs> um, I don't know. I was always pretty, uh, psycho. So, <laughs> uh, you get to pick. Oh my god. Hot list. <gasps> I wrote like a hot list of who I think was hot. <laughs> I can't say their names though, obviously. Wow. Dude. Her journals are so like color coordinated. This is some legit. This is a legit journal. God. Okay, this is April 1st, so that's April Fool's Day um, of 2015, and it was Relay for Life, which is a cancer event that I would go to every year to stay up all night and raise money. And I had a crush on someone, clearly, and <laughs> here we go. And he was in a relationship, and he was a lot older than me. Tara! So, it's spring break right now, and about five days ago it was Relay for Life, aka my personal hell. Oh my god, so dramatic! Right. The whole night, and his girlfriend couldn't get off each other not to mention he I don't even know if I can I I don't know if I could read this I'm not I getting so even wrote this. yeah the worst part is I couldn't get myself to do anything mean to her considering she planned the whole night obviously it was for cancer you know what I'm saying like so she's, she's a good person no she's a good person um he didn't say a word to me, not even hello, of course. Who am I, right? Just some freshman. Oh, I guess I was a freshman. To ruin his stupid relationship. F my life. Oh, okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. Did you, did you know this guy? Like, does this guy know yeah. who you are? Yeah, we were friends. Okay. And I'm pretty sure he knew I liked him. Okay. He was actually really, he was really crappy to me, like, ninth and 10th grade. Um, because he was in 11th grade when I was in 9th. But then... Once he graduated, he was really, really sweet to me. Okay, so you just liked this guy that was in a relationship. Yeah. Yeah. And you and did the, not like the girl. The for girl sure. was so sweet too. She like planned really for life. She was like a really good person. I can't do anything mean to her. But she was just a good person and I I mean I couldn't get myself to even look at her dirty. Okay, so <laughs> there is two days after, April third. It says, For April Fools, I told <laughs> I had feelings for him. This is a different this guy. This is a different guy. But I think I actually do. So I told him and he doesn't have any for me, no big deal. Wait, Which so I you had... told him as a joke? And yeah. And you were like, oh, I actually think I do? Yeah. This is a different guy. And I know he watches my videos, I think. So. This is so confusing. Yeah. Grade, grade 9 Tara is confusing. Grade 9 Tara was a mess. <laughs> I also thought this was grade 10, but I guess it's not. What did you think of that page? Um, I think that you like two guys. Like, yeah, no, I liked multiple guys Within two days. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> but to be fair, the second guy was like a really close friend of mine in the same grade as me and like the same friend group as me. Okay. So I think I was developing feelings for him, to right, be fair. Right, And then the other guy was two years older than me. I had a big, fat, juicy crush on him and he had a girlfriend. So two days before, you're like, I want to kill this girl. And then two days later, you're like, hi, I like you. There's going to be so much bleeping in this. Which one do you want? What's next? Hmm. I guess they get like less cringy as we go because I grow up. Or actually, well, this one's younger, I think. Okay. Are we going to read a page of both? Whichever you want. Yeah, sure, if you want to. Okay. So then let's, let's do this one. Okay. I'm going to read you eighth grade graduation. I have little like flowers taped inside here too. Wow. Are those real flowers? From yeah, they're real flowers from like my graduation. Wow, that's cute. I can't believe it. I did it. And I covered up my sunburn. Actually, Chloe did. Okay, so I had a really bad sunburn to a point where like my skin was flaking off brown. You because told me about that. I was on acne medication, and the day before we had graduation practice, and I wasn't wearing any sunscreen, and it would like brown flake off. Like my skin oh my was. Oh god. My mom thought it would like scar. Mm. That's how bad it was. Anyways, <laughs> and I took pics. The first pic we took was perfect. He looked at it afterwards and said, "You look cute." Aww. Omg, I thought I my pants afterwards <laughs> yeah afterwards I went to sagebrush then to <laughs> I'm slowly liking <laughs> another guy no, another one. <laughs> it's weird I'm being super indecisive of course I am it's okay though cuz <laughs> told me he just wanted to be friends which absolutely broke my heart Oh, I have to make up my mind. Who's this guy? He was his friend. So this is like three different dudes in one no, page. No, it's two. <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> was <laughs> friend who told me they didn't like you and it broke your heart. Okay. 
so thoughts about teenage early teenage Tara and what she was going through um you definitely were going through a lot you had a lot of boy troubles <laughs> Problem. Yeah, and it was a little dramatic the first one. Oh, 100% <laughs> Do you know me? Like I'm still like that. You're like this is the worst day of my entire life It was I remember like crying a lot that day. That's sad. Mm hmm I don't know looking back. I feel like I never went through like heartbreak So I don't know what I was writing about. Yeah, like, I feel like I always got my way at the end Yeah, and looking back. I was just so you were keeping your options open. I was very much yes. so keeping my options open with like three different guys. Oh, at once. All, all I, if I didn't have three, uh uh. That even, way, no one could really break your heart. No, even though they didn't like me back. <laughs> True though, like no, none of them no. actually broke my heart because I never got too attached. Exactly. All right, you guys, make sure to subscribe to Katrina. Her link will be in the description below. Buy the merch for both of us. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and um, we have a Trap Girls page actually on Instagram. It's yeah. the Trap Girls official, right? Mm hmm. Yes. Follow that. Follow that. Follow us on Instagram. Go spam our last post and say, Tara and Katrina from Tara's new video sent you. Subscribe if you're not, because I looked at my analytics and 54% of you aren't subscribed. You're watching my videos. Wow. That's and you're not subscribed. Up. I see you. Right now watching. I'm watching you. Yeah. Time to skedaddle. Bye guys. Bye.